Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Scal 2.0, and in this video tutorial, we're going to show you how in in Scal that you can uh, group and ungroup things based on color. You know, and you can grab these uh, these free SVG files. Uh, th this one happens to be from einnej.typepad.com. It's under their free SVG uh, link in there, and uh, it's a pretty neat website. So go ahead and check that out. But uh, but anyways, you know, s say we have this right here, we can go to object you know ungroup and we can actually un ungroup and and move these individual pieces out, out from underneath each other that way you can position it on the paper where you want and uh, you know you can cut it when you want by using these little eyeballs here now uh, the, some of the SVGs that you download that are free you uh, you will have to do some prepping in Inkscape and that's what I wanted to show you uh, show you right now so let's go ahead and go into uh, Inkscape right now and uh, right here I have just a bunch of generic shapes and pieces and colors and everything and uh, th this is just to to stress an example on uh, what you should do if you want to uh, group and ungroup based on color or or individual pieces now unlike you know society you know a group doesn't have to be more than two people you know in an Inkscape a group can just be just one color here so in order to group things and in, uh, in Inkscape uh, you can go ahead and uh, I'm going to first make sure that everything's ungrouped. So I'm going to select everything and hit this button right here, ungroup. And you can select uh, the pieces. So I'm holding down the shift button right now and I can select both of those blue pieces and I can group them together. Um, however, uh, when, when I'm doing something into Scout, showing people how to use it, I like to have, uh, have control over every, every little piece. Uh, so I can I can move it in scale. So in order to do that, I'm just going to select each piece individually. I'm going to hit uh, Control G to group. Control G, Control G. And uh, if if you don't want to use the short uh, keystroke of Control G, you can always use this button right here, which is the group. Or you can select select the object, go to object, and uh, group is right there. So uh, th those are your three three quick ways of grouping something. So once once you have that all set up, you can go ahead and save save the SVG. So I just went ahead and saved it as a generic drawing, and I'm going to go ahead and import it. Uh, importing SVGs is fairly easy in Scal too. So I'm going to go ahead and click uh, click the SVG button right there. I'm going to go down to drawing, and uh, that appears now. Um, you know that it's it's pretty big, so you can go ahead and shrink things down if you like. I'm I'm going to shrink it down so we can so we can better see this, and I'm going to move it to the center of the page. All right, so uh, w once you have it there, you notice that you still can't click individual pieces, but you can also notice that uh, over here by the folder, you have the little drop down menu, and everything is uh, is nicely um, group layered. So all we have to do is go to object, ungroup, and we will are able to move each individual piece and move it to where we want. We can also color code them so if uh, we can go ahead and change that to a red hit OK, hit OK and it just gives you better uh, you know better control of the of your board. So, so with that I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com and I will see you